you said if these things are unfounded, then it must be stopped. I totally agree with that, Will. So what evidence can you produce for speaking a foreign language? Carl Peterson, a Christian psychiatrist, produced a study that demonstrated the immune system gains from extensive prayer in tongues. Lynn Paris Fry and Shell published a paper in 2010 that demonstrated that Pentecostal workshop practices are possibly associated with a reduction in circulatory cortisol and enhancements in alpha amylase activity. Now, in plain English, that means that those who attended Pentecostal worship services exhibited less stress. Another study involved nearly 1,000 members of a British evangelical group. The researchers found that 80% who practiced glossolalia had greater emotional stability and less neuroticism. That's from a 2003 study. And of course, there was a famous University of Pennsylvania study on tongues in 2006 called the Measurement of Regional Cerebral Blood Flow During Glossolalia Preliminary Spec Study by Newberg, Wintering, Morgan, and Waldman. And it matched a lot of the charismatic people's expectations that, uh, that the language centers are relatively dark during tongues. Uh, do any of those studies give us evidence that they're speaking a real language? Uh, you, all the things you just cited, it makes you feel good. Right. I'm asking for evidence of a real language. Right. Are there any studies like that? Right. Well, you also mentioned earlier that the um, that the problem that you had with my wording of my def of one of my points was that it should sound like a human language. It should sound like a language. Well, what I meant was precisely the the methodology for the the papers that you cited which is that they're looking at these tongues and they're saying, well, it has to match up and sound like a, like a language. But is it a real language? The fact of the matter is that most human languages that have ever existed, even if I grant you that these are real human languages, which I did for the purpose of the debate, uh, even if I grant you that they're real human languages, the vast majority of human languages have gone extinct by now. And so the theoretical possibility, say, let's say that there have been uh, 100,000 human languages in the history of humankind. What I'm saying is it's one of those 100,000 now, maybe so our modern scientists might not be able to identify it. So wait, uh, you're, so you're speaking a dead language? Possibly. That we cannot verify. Sure. Have you, in your research, is there scientific evidence for a real la modern language that we can verify today or in a language that, as they say, is alive? Is there any evidence of that in your church, in your experience? or in scientific circles that you research? That's yeah, all I mean, I'm asking. There, there is, there is, there is a, uh, a couple of anecdotes I can give you. Uh, no, nothing scientifically peer-reviewed or anything like that, but I can give you an example of someone who prayed in tongues in a, in a way meeting um, and who the interpretation was validated by someone who spoke high German, which was an older language. Um, you know, there, there are people who have, who have experienced this um, in modern times where they heard the tongue, they heard the interpretation. And like I said, none of these are scientific studies. Uh, but it, it is something that people talk about and it has happened for sure.